commencement speech, I know yep. you're going to tell us a story about the Waffle House. The famous Waffle House story. Yes. Uh, that kind of came about as an accident. Uh, I used to do a lot of traveling, so I always stopped off at the Waffle House. And then I started noticing a pattern every time I stopped at the Waffle House that all the people were real nice at the Waffle House. You know, these ladies would come up to me and say, come on in, honey pie, sweetie pie, darling. And so I incorporated that into the speech and people get a kick out of it. I didn't realize that many people actually ate at a Waffle House. So, you know, I get a kick out of it. You'll like it. Yeah, there are over a thousand of them, a lot of us eat there. Are there really? Oh, yeah. Are there really? Absolutely. I, I eat there all the time. I didn't know that. Now, I've discovered in the South, especially Georgia, Man, one, you have a national treasure. And if you don't know what it is, let me tell you what it is. Listen carefully. The Waffle House. <laughs> Clap if you know what I'm talking about. Man, because I love the Waffle House. Let me tell you why I like the Waffle House. There you will find the most politically incorrect people, and I love it. You walk into a Waffle House, these ladies come up to you and say, come on in. Honey, sugar, sweetie, my favorite. Baby, that doesn't offend me. That doesn't offend me. Now, I got to tell you, I've been married 22 years. Thank you very much. Four different women, add up the years, doesn't matter. All right. That was a joke. Now, I tell my wife, when I'm hungry and I need love, where do I go? That's what I'm talking about.